like it's not it's a non-slip mat so what happens when one foot won't slide and the other one has all the slip your girl went into the split at like 40 miles per hour <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to the vlog. I'm looking a little crazy, but that's okay. If you're new here, um, this is not normally the vibe. But this is extenuating circumstances and I believe in vlogging and showing you guys the good and the bad. So, um, yeah. Go ahead and subscribe to this train wreck. That is this week. Now moving into a new week. So I decided to start the vlog right back up um, because I am hopeful that this too shall pass. So your girl's standing right now without the Swiffer, which is major progress. And I was able to get up and walk into the kitchen. I had the Swiffer in case I needed to use it as a cane, but I was actually able just to like hold it up in the air and just really just try to like slowly walk. So I've come to the determination. I was going to go to urgent care. I know I said that. But I just started doing a little bit of Google research because I'm very familiar with muscle strain and sprain and strain. And I was like, wait, did I pull my hamstring? Because out of all the sports injuries I've had, and believe me, I've had many, hamstring is one I've never pulled. So I started looking it up and where it's located and what it feels like. And I'm like, I pulled my hamstring. It literally feels like a permanent Charlie horse. That's what I've done. So, um, I know that I just have to like slowly stretch it, ice it, put heat on it, but I have to stretch it or it's going to get worse. So that's probably why it hasn't gotten better because I'm not slowly actively stretching it all day, but I stretched it last night and today I was able to move a little bit more. So there we go. So, oh, oh. I didn't even show you guys, but yesterday, un momento, por favor. Okay, okay. I'm sorry, y'all. Sometimes this tripod be like doing its own thing. I didn't show you guys yesterday, but I went, my mom went and got me some serving spoon. I have been craving it. Um, if you guys, it's a popular like diner in Inglewood, California. A, a lot of people visit it when they come here. It was in a Snoop Dogg song, Lucy Pearl song. But anywho, I had me some serving spoons, so I was good and happy. Um, I placed a quick target order because once my legs started feeling better, I was like, oh, I can't wait to clean because I'm gonna be honest with you. Without me cleaning and straightening up every day, things go left real quick. Like, I'm not, I, that's all I'm going to say. So, I got this tub and towel scrubber. Why is it the same color as my bathroom? So, it was like a must, right? So, um, I'm excited to actually use it. I, I can't use it, but um, my boyfriend can use it. That's what that's what that can do. Um, and then I just got a whole bunch of scrub daddies because I didn't know that they came in actual sponges. If you guys um, have never used these, they're amazing. You can use them all around the house, but basically cold water makes it tougher and sturdier. And then this lighting is horrible. And... Um, Warm water makes it softer. So, I love scrub daddies. So, I got some more. Y'all already know the secret. Tylenol arthritis. Because instead of 500 milligrams per capsule, it's 650. So, it's extra, extra, extra strength. Um, I got me some makeup wipes. Because 
I haven't been feeling good. I haven't been doing my makeup. Your girl's ready. Okay, I'm ready. And um, I just got some Irish Spring because my boyfriend swear this is the only thing that gets him squeaky clean. So, and to be honest with you, I have always loved the way Irish Spring smells. And I would actually use it, but I would have to use it just like on just like my chest, my arms, my back. I would not use this in any sensitive areas because child. So, um, but that's not even what I came on here to show y'all. But y'all know I had to get the, the best soap, the real soap, the Castile soap. This, ladies and gents, is the real deal. <clears throat> but yeah, I wanted to show you guys. Um, I got these aluminum cups. Now, I have been buying plastic cups, which is not good for the environment. So I was like, you know what? I got to find something different. So these are aluminum cups like I can. And basically, they're reusable. Um, you can drink out of it. It keeps your drinks really, 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 really cold, right? You drink out of it maybe the whole day or maybe even two days. And then instead of throwing it in the dishwasher, you just toss it. So it's like um, it's like having a paper cup, but you can use it a little bit longer, if that makes sense. So um, it's 100% recyclable, makes your drinks cold. These are 20 ounce cups. So I was like, this is cute. I'm gonna try this out and see how I like it. Um, and then, I don't know if I ever told you guys, bio oil is amazing. It works really good for stretch marks, scars, and just overall moisturization. Um, I haven't been able to get my nails done, my feet done. I don't think that I would be able to sit there and hold my leg up for me to get my feet done. So, um, I'm going to try to give myself like a, a little mini, like, girl, you can make it two weeks type pedicure. And, um, because I can let my leg down when I want to let it down. I could, you know, stop when I want to stop. And bio oil is really good moisturizer. Mixing this with like a my butter bay or something like that. And then putting a drop of this in there, even though it works well on its own, this will just penetrate and get everything right. And then I'm gonna try this as I am dry itch scalp care. Um I wanna wash my hair. I do wash my hair while it's braided. Um, I want to wash it, dry it, re-dip the ends so that they're nice and silky, and then put a little oil on because I do have some videos that I have to film, and I just gotta, I gotta break out this crustiness. Like, y'all ever just feel like that? Like, <clears throat> coming from the the bronchitis to this, it's like now I just want to, I want to be uncrusty. So, and I got myself a new tongue scraper. Um, this one is supposed to be really good. So, um, and it comes with, so, okay. So this one has like little toggles on it. So it doesn't just scrape. It has like these little fingers that supposedly <clears throat> go down and they work better than brushing your tongue, which is what I do. So yeah, tongue scraper. I will let you guys know. It says 90% of bad breath comes from a dirty tongue. Oh my gosh. Let me just tell you guys. That is like so horrible to me when I see people like. Ah, and their tongue is white. Like no. So yes. Brush your tongue. Or get a tongue scraper. Um, that's basically all I have. PSA guys. I know you've been seeing this a lot, okay? Please understand that your girl showers every morning and every night. So every time I put this on, it is literally on a clean body. So if you see me wear it for like four days, understand that I only have it on in the morning, I only have it on at night, and I usually put some type of loungewear on during the day, and it literally smells like soap. It literally smells Mm, so good. It smells like clean body, okay? 
all of my pajamas, I promise you, they just smell like soap and clean body because they are only on my body right after I've showered. So, um, just a disclaimer because I want to, I haven't started editing the other vlog, it, it, bad me because now I have hell to pay, but I can already tell a good amount a good amount of my clips had this on so just addressing that so yeah um i showered about three o'clock last night it is now 10 30 i think something we're in that around there i'm gonna wipe this stuff down and then i'm actually gonna get in the shower again because that's what i do <laughs> that's what i do oh look at me look at me look at me that lip wasn't that bad so yeah i may actually try to make myself some breakfast Lord, this has been a long intro. Let me let y'all go. Cause uh we ain't doing nothing right now. I'm probably gonna make a little breakfast. Who knows? My leg may decide to start hurting. We'll see. Alright. Hi guys. So we're in the car and this is an amazing feat. Cause as you guys know, I hurt my leg. So for you guys, it's probably been just like, you no, know, it's, it's about real time. Um, about a, it will know. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's been about 10 days since the last time I drove. Um, part of that was just because I hadn't gone anywhere since Thursday and I hurt myself on a Sunday or something like that. But anywho, nonetheless, your girl is back in the car. We are testing out the camera in the car. So, um, I was worried about the zoom, but I actually think I'm zoomed out pretty far. I could actually stand to be a little bit closer, so I'll probably fix that. I'm going right now to get these packages. Um, they've been there since May 24th. Can you believe that? No, May 20th. May 20th or May 24th is how long the packages have been there. Um, so. I know my P.O. box is like, is the girl alive? Because next week is like the 20th. So, they've been there almost a month. No oh, air conditioning. Y'all, it is so hot. One thing about being in the house that whole time, I was blissfully unaware of how hot it's been. And boy, oh boy, has it been a scorcher with the air conditioner. But all right, guys, I'm out. I'll see y'all when I come back. Hi, guys. So, I am rushing as usual. Um, today is my older sister's birthday. Um, she has passed away, but we still do celebrate her birthday. And we um, go to the cemetery and we go out to eat. Usually we try to pick uh, one of her favorite restaurants, but at this point we've exhausted all of that so we're gonna try a different restaurant i will show you guys in the video it's one um i've been wanting to try and i know it would have totally been her vibe like we all agreed like this would have definitely been her vibe um i didn't get the opportunity to show you guys my outfit because again i was rushing um but it is that red doll's dress if you've seen that video um i'll show you the full look when i get a chance my my leg it still hurts so i couldn't wear like any heels or anything but i have some cute little sandals that are dressy enough for the dress code um yeah and i just have on these cute little amazon earrings i wish i would have gotten bigger earrings but it is what it is they match they're cute um yeah so right now i'm heading to meet up with my family i left my camera again rushing and 
my camera is petite enough to fit in this bag, but I was rushing, so therefore I don't have it. So we're using my phone, which is fine. We said that sometimes it was gonna be the phone, especially I wasn't gonna bring it into the restaurant I'm going into because it's uh, very upscale and a lot of times they don't want you to record. So I was gonna use my phone for the restaurant anyways. But yeah, guys, I just wanted to um, kind of introduce the uh, vlog to you guys, let you guys know we're in motion. Leg is doing better, but not 100%. And that's it. I am starving. All I've had today was, what did I have? It was something I don't normally have. Oh, I had a bagel. I had an everything bagel with some uh, vegan cream cheese, lightly toasted, and some stoked iced coffee. And that was at about 9 a.m. And it's almost 2. So, stomach is growling, growling. But we'll be okay. Yeah. My face is toyed because I just washed it and walked out the door. So I'm being animated to kind of break the cast, if you will. But it's toyed. It's like. Sorry, guys. I will check you when we get there. Trying to keep it peaceful is a struggle for me. Don't pull up at 6 a.m. to cuddle with me. You know how. Hi guys okay so um i think last we left off i went to uh yamashiro's for my older sister's birthday we celebrated um every year even though um she is no longer with us so um i showed you guys a little bit of the scene love 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 the restaurant highly recommend it the views are immaculate i don't even know if i was able to capture just how pretty it was um yeah so um today is the is today the next day today is the next day so not bad and i know um i just went to go pick up some packages and then i was about to stop and get me some flame broiler because i'm cooking tonight but i haven't eaten all day but i'm not ready to cook and right when i pulled up the flame broiler i was like you know what amber you're not hungry, hungry. Now would be a good time to do the charcuterie board. So that's why we're here. As I promised, I'm going to show you guys the vegan charcuterie board. Now, I'm not claiming to have ever done this before. It's just I eat and snack charcuterie board style. So it only made sense for me just to do a freaking, a freaking charcuterie board. So I couldn't decide whether I wanted to do sweet or savory. I'm going to go ahead and do savory since I haven't eaten all day. It's probably best that I leave with savory. Um, so first thing I'm going to show you are the cheeses. I showed you guys this in a vlog. Um, these are artesian handmade cheeses that I got from the um, 
farmer's market this one is kale and sriracha and it's like a little wheel you'll be able to see it better when it's actually on the charcuterie board um and this one is chardonnay cheddar it's another half cheese wheel so the two of these together is sufficient enough cheese for me um however i did pick this up I've never tasted or seen this before. I've tasted these two. But this is organic cashew milk mozzarella. And it looks really mozzarella-y. So um, it says that it melts, slices, and shreds. So I've never seen mozzarella on a charcuterie board. But if I get the feeling, it may go on there, guys. Um, and then I have pickles because I love pickles. Um, and then we have some veggie salami just for the meat portion of the, um, charcuterie board. I have had this before. I think it's really good. Um, another not new item to my channel is this here. This is plant-based prosciutto, prosciutto, prosciutto. <laughs> uh, it's really good to me. Um. So we're gonna use that. And then, of course, I always buy these. I literally buy charcuterie board crackers, not to make a charcuterie board. And then just in case, even though I said it's a savory board, just in case I wanna like implement just a little bit of sweetness, I did pull out my sour cherry spread, which you can see is almost gone. This is so good. I wanna say I got this from Gelson's. I either got this, yeah, I think I got this from Gelson's. It is so freaking good. I'm going to have to actually get me some more. This is top notch. Um, I also thought about using my crack butter, but I said, you know what? This is almost out. If I do decide, it would be more something jammy like that. And I have for utensils, these little bowls that I got a set of like six. I never use them, but to me, they're perfect for like putting nuts or like the pickles or anything small in this. So I just grabbed two because it's going to be a mini charcuterie board. Um, my charcuterie board I got from, it actually came in a FabFitFun box and it comes like this. So it's a smaller charcuterie board. This actually pops out in the event that you want it to be all wood or in the event that you need to just really get this thing, scrub it down and clean it. Mine has been cleaned um, and it comes with these two little steak, what is this, a steak fork and then a little knife in case you need to cut or spread something which I thought was super cute. And then I have this from a unicorn mug. It's just a little spoon in case you want to put some spread on a cracker or something. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on this charcuterie board. And I will show you guys once it is complete. All right, guys. So here is my finished charcuterie board. Uh, we have the spinach and kale cheese, dill pickle, salami, the Chardonnay cheddar. Over here we have the sour cherry spread with a couple of um, dark chocolate almonds covered in sea salt and terra, terra beetle sugar. And then an assortment of different like charcuterie crackers here. We have the vegan prosciutto right there. Vegan salami right there. Okay, and then we have apple watermelon sparkling wine just to finish out the board. So what do you guys think? 